Yeah, this is Black Light. Today's uh, subject of the, my opinions, we call this the soul expression, uh, soul's expression. We are uh, going to talk about thug life. You know, so many of my brothers with the knowledge of self think that uh, we can combine thug life with the knowledge of self. It's impossible. It's impossible. We go by uh, You got plenty of examples where it'll 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 work to a degree. Uh, we got plenty of examples. Uh, Tupac, brother Tupac. We got uh, brother Malcolm. Various others, you know, uh, brothers in the Panthers. You know, I, I'm not going to name them all, but to give uh, some big examples, I got some, some in my family that have the knowledge of self, a degree of knowledge of self, but they, they use that, that knowledge of self to subdue others and combine the hustle with the knowledge of self. The science of self. And it's not going to work. So, uh, I'm thinking of calling this one uh, Wake Up Thug Life. Well, it might change, you know, but anyway, uh, let me hurry up and get on with this. I'm going to go by my. Uh, use myself as an example and uh, you can't combine nothing with the knowledge of self because the knowledge of self is knowing that you're from the uh, the originator and, and, and also when you got knowledge of self tells you that The originator was was righteous. The originator was righteous. Uh, all his laws to create himself was uh, pure righteousness. And uh, not saying that uh, it wasn't a degree of unrighteousness in us, but to, to see righteousness is, is is perfection. You know, it's perfection, and uh, once you reach that degree of uh, perfection. We're going to use the gold standards, 99.9, .9, or we can say 100%. Uh, we're on a, another level of what we want to call consciousness. But... Uh, during my years of... Uh, thugging, I didn't thug, you know, uh, I stug, I thug, put it like this, I went hard for, for a couple of years of my life, you know, I'm 71, and during my, uh, uh, teenage and 
early 20s, my teenage, early 20s, <clears throat> I was kind of trying to thug, you know, hard a little bit, just a little. One reason I didn't want to really work. I didn't want to go to school. And uh, I was into women, girls. I, want, I wanted to have a, a harem, a stable. I don't know. Uh, a study supply of female sex at my discretion. Uh, but I was, I, was, I was at a very young age uh, expressing myself as a musician. And when I found out that I had the talent, then I found out that uh, women gravitated towards uh, entertainers and musicians. And then I found out that uh, pimping and thugging attracted women for some strange reason. So but this is what I want to say to the to the thugs. Uh, I thought it wasn't gonna play into the white man's hand, but later on I found out that he set it up. He set that world up, the thug world, up for us, cause he he once had it down, and once he. Uh, Perfected thugging, he uh, didn't want nobody else to elevate where he was at. So, we're gonna get into that on the next video. This is part one, part two is coming up.